When I grow up, I'm gonna have my own farm and make other people do all the work. You're with the Minutemen, right? The Minutemen are always happy to help. What did you need? A pack of feral ghouls have holed up nearby. And some of them have started wandering out lately. If more of them start wandering out this way, we may be overrun. We need someone to clear them out. Are ghouls a common problem? We're usually fine to deal with one or two. But more than that, well... I'm on it. It's as good as done. I'll be glad to have them gone. The hell are they? That's how we do things around here. Safety off. Confirmed kill.
Folks, I'd, I'd like to take a moment for something a little more personal than usual. As I'm sure you know all too well, I haven't always been the best at this job. Hey, let's face it, I've been pretty terrible. Thanks to the efforts of a few of my friends, I've decided to change how I look at things, how I live my life. I'd like to just take this opportunity to thank the Vault Dweller for lending me a hand. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> folks. That's enough sentiment from me for one day. Let's get it on back to the music, shall we? Ladies, I bet every one of you out there knows a man like the one Betty Hutton sings about. Here's a, he's a demon, he's a devil, he's a dog. Find anything useful on him? Morning, teachers and students. It is a fabulous Wednesday here at Suffolk County Charter School. The Glee Club is having their seasonal bake sale today. 
So stop by and show your support so we can send our team to the regionals. Remember, actual baked goods are forbidden on school grounds, so they will be selling colorful cups for your food paste. Oh, also, we will be having a school assembly during second period tomorrow on the dangers of strangers by Jangles, the moon monkey himself. Once again, we would like to thank our benefactors from the NAPP program for allowing us to have such a big star come and speak to you kids. We owe our benefactors strict adherence to the rules they have set forth. This is Principal Hudson, signing off. Have a great day. Okay, that's just about the worst thing I've ever smelled in my entire life. that sometime. Tex Benneke, folks. Here's a bit of news concerning the vaults of the Commonwealth. Some of you out there may be familiar with Vault 81. Nice place. They keep to themselves, not very social. Apparently they've suffered from some sort of disease outbreak in there. It's a good thing they don't open the door much. Evidently pretty. 
pretty serious. And of course, we can all empathize with what they're going through. I have seen reports of some fatalities, but my understanding is that things are now under control. So if you should happen to bump into someone from Vault 81, don't worry. They're probably not contagious. Handgun safety is an important issue here in Diamond City. Here's Bing Crosby's take on it with Pistol Packin' Mama. Won't be able to pick this. that a few times.
save me some trouble and give up already. That's a great one, isn't it? Orange colored sky by Nat King Cole. Folks, I, I'd, I'd like to take a moment for something a little more personal than usual. As I'm sure you know all too well, I haven't always been the best at this job. Hey, let's face it, I've been pretty terrible. Thanks to the efforts of a few of my friends, I've decided to change how I look at things. How I live my life. I'd like to just take this opportunity to thank the Vault Dweller for lending me a hand. I really do appreciate it. Huh. All right, <laughs> folks. That's enough sentiment from me for one day. Let's get it on back to the music, shall we? The next one is Keep a Knockin' by Louis Jordan. Friday all. The NAPP program launched this week with success, but not without problems. I hate to have to throw away your mother's carefully packed lunches, but I am afraid we must put our foot down on this issue. I am assured all of you will get used to the flavor of the pace. Also, I have been informed that flavor varieties will be on their way pending continued success of the program. How exciting! To those complaining, I will repeat. There are absolutely no psychological or physical side effects from participation in the NAPP. Any observed effect is assuredly psychosomatic and possibly related to a lack of trust in the government. Remember, our participation in the NAPP not only helps our school, but in the long run benefits our nation. Thank you for your attention. This is Principal Hudson, signing off.
Took care of those ghouls that were giving you trouble. You did? Well, that's great news. Lady, you and the Minutemen have our gratitude. And our support. I just... Uh, I just want to trade a few things. What now? I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Seems to be growing well. Shit! Someone do some something! Let's get this over with. Let's get this over with, shall we? It's Commonwealth justice for you. Hey. Well, hold up. I think we need to talk. What's, uh, what's on your mind? This has been nagging at me for a while. I've been waiting for the right moment to talk to you, and I suppose this is as good a time as any. After helping me get Duncan's cure for medtech, I figured I owe you something. And I always pay my debts. Here. I wanted you to have this. I know a carved toy soldier is a strange reward for risking your life, but this one's special. It means a lot to me. Did you make this yourself? Do I look like the artistic type to you? My wife Lucy gave this to me right after we met. I, uh, I told her I was a soldier and she made it for me. I never could bring myself to tell her the truth. That I was just a hired killer. The soldier story was the best thing I could come up with. I didn't want to lose her because of what I was.
Hey, I'm sure you had good intentions. I had a feeling you'd get where I was coming from. It doesn't really matter anymore. She died a few years back. We made the mistake of holing up in a metro station one night. We didn't know that the place was infested with ferals. They were on her before I could even fire a shot. Ripped her apart right in front of me. There was nothing I could do. Took everything I had to escape with Duncan in my arms. Maybe it would have been better if we died there with her. You may have lost your wife, but you saved your son. That counts for something. Maybe. I don't know anymore. Damn, I miss Lucy. No matter how bad things got, she was always there with a shoulder to lean on. It gave me... Well, it, it gave me the courage I needed to press ahead. To never give up. When she died, I thought that feeling was gone forever. Then I met you. You have the world's problems in your back, and here you are helping me with mine. Lending me your shoulder like Lucy did. I just want you to know how much your friendship means to me. I was hoping what we have together could be more than friendship. I... I, I don't know. I mean, I, I never thought of us that way. What about your husband? I know he's gone, but you still love him, don't you? That's the past. You are all that matters to me now. I... I don't know what to say. I know I was taking a chance dumping all my feelings in the table. Now that I know how you really feel about me, it was definitely worth the risk. For once in my life, everything's going right. And I have you to thank for it. I don't think anyone in the world could ask for a greater gift than that. Thank you. Hey. Yeah, what is it? Here you go. Your thoughts? Nothing I love more than hiking in the rain. Nothing else I needed. Time at me.